Hey everyone, and welcome to the CHCH Virtual Assembly. I'm Caroline Burke from the class of 2020. Uh, but we have a lot to share with you today, so let's get started with Dr. Conrad. Hey, good morning. It's early, early Thursday morning. I'd like to announce that I am having a bad hair day. Um, it is good to be up on this Thursday. Happy Virtual Assembly. Um, I am Dr. Conrad, and uh, I'd like to actually shout out to the seniors right now. I know you're looking at four weeks to go, and this certainly is not what you signed up for. It's not what any of us signed up for, um, but I want you to hang in there, all right? Um, we've got some actually pretty cool surprises up our sleeves in the next few weeks for you. Um, we want to make sure that it's memorable and for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons. Um, and as you'll find out in today's newsletter, uh, we have made some decisions um, concerning um, postponing an in-person full-fledged cap and gown diploma receiving ceremony until a later time that everyone can meet together um, at least as many people as we can get to meet together um, and that may be in August um, it seems to be the appropriate thing to do the graduation task force um, definitely wanted uh, to do something that's in person that's certainly who we are as a school but at the same time we want closure on the school year so this was an opportunity for um, us to think about how we might take our baccalaureate ceremony and our senior banquet and take some of the best elements of those two events, which normally would happen on the last school day of the year and still have them on the last school day of this year. So that on Friday morning, the 29th of May, we will look to pull together a baccalaureate ceremony, um, which will be more kind of like a senior day, a senior celebration day. In fact, that whole week, you know, we'll probably look to reframe it as senior week and have a, a few different surprises up our sleeves. So I want you to hang in there. You know, focus on what you need to focus on, your academic work, finishing up. Um, we do have a couple more announcements in the newsletter today that I think you'll find pretty interesting as well. Um, know that you're in our thoughts every day, um, and, and we're going to get through this. We got this, all right? We got this, Chargers. Take care. Have a great day. Bye. As a part of the Senior Legacy Project for the Class of 2020, Sophie Popiashvili has an inspirational quote she would like to share with us today. So take it away, Soph. Hey all of you, it's Sophie Pobishvili here from the class of 2020. I really miss all of you. I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to keep washing your hands. For my quote this week, I chose, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can by Arthur Ashe. This is a little reminder to the student body, there's a pandemic going on. We're not expecting you all to keep going above and beyond. Just stay home, stay safe, and do what you can. The Daniels family has been getting pretty creative with their weekly birthday videos. Let's see what they got for us this week. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Next up are the health and wellness and skills and academic support tips of the week. Good evening, everyone. Chapel Hill, broadcasting live from Boston, Mass, and from around the world. Mr. Streeter here to give you the SAS tip of the week. Until recently, most teaching modules involved students receiving 80% of their assignments instruction at school, while 20% of their assignments completion was performed at home. With the implementation of virtual classrooms, that formula is flipped. The best method for becoming more academically confident is to make use of virtual office hours on a daily basis. This will enhance your ability to invest as well as participate in the collective learning process at Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall. Hey CHCH, Miss Weber here with your wellness tip of the week. And this week I want to challenge you to take five to 10 minutes this weekend and just free write about your current experiences, about what we're going through. Because right now we're all living through a moment of history and it's gonna be really powerful to have something written down in your own words as a firsthand account documentation of what we're going through. So either write an email to yourself or here I am just taking a quick journal entry, doing some coloring to keep it light and friendly at the same time. And think about what changes you've gone through 
and think forward to what are some maybe new practices that you're working through now that you're going to carry over back into the new norm that we're going to have. So whether that's enjoying more walks or having more time to play games or really understanding the power of being able to hug someone. Take the time, reflect on it, and enjoy your weekend. Hello, this is Brogan following the wellness tip of the week. I put together a coloring page and a coloring book. And I hope you do the same thing too. Bye. Mr. Andershow here with your tech tip of the week. Turning on your device's nightlight or downloading an app such as Flux goes a long way in eliminating the blue light on your screen, which is one of the main reasons why your eyes are so tired. This week, our community sent in their recommendations for great games and books. Hey Chargers, Dr. Conrad here. Did you know back in the early 1800s, the only game that those westward expansionists and settlers played was cards, playing cards, that's right. I got two decks here, one's a Charger Pride deck, and one is a little Vineyard Vine deck. And these are decks that we, my family, engage in each and every night after dinner. We play little cards, um, games like Pitch, Hearts, Euchre, you name it. We keep teaching them. Kids love it. Um, go out there and play some cards. You'll have some fun. Thanks. Bye. Charlie, what's your favorite book called? What's your favorite book called? What is this book called? How do diggers sleep at the night? Where do diggers sleep at night? Mm -hmm. You want to read it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Hello, CHCH, Mr. Spencer here, and I'm going to talk about one of my favorite games, Snake Oil. This is a game that's all about making do with what you've got. It's a bit of improvisation, and it's a bit of just getting creative and just making up crazy justifications for ideas. Basic premise is that you and the other players are salespeople, and you have a handful of cards, and each card has a single noun on it. On a given turn, there's a type of customer that you have to sell to. Maybe it's a caveman, maybe it's an astronaut. And you have just about 30 seconds to go through your hand, pick out two cards, make that your product, and then make a sales pitch explaining why that product is what your customer needs. Let's do this right now. You're my customer because you are stuck at home self-isolating. So let me make you a product. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Ah, you know what? You're stuck at home, and the biggest, most important thing when you're stuck at home is coziness, is feeling safe and warm in these strange times. And you're not going outside, so why not give your feet an extra treat and let them rest with pillow socks. Pillow socks, the puffy sock that goes on your feet so all day they're toasty warm, nice and cozy as you attend classes from the comfort of your own home. So that's snake oil making up stupid, wonderful ideas with what you've got. All right, time for announcements and shares. Come on up. This is my dog, Smoke. He's a black lab. Um, 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 he likes dog food so much, and he also likes barking so much at nothing. And also he loves throwing the ball because he see he that see that ball and also um 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 I don't even know what to say. What else do we call him? Oh we call him Smoke Jack, we call him Smokey Bear, we call him Smoke Barks a lot, and we also call him Dog Bird a lot. Okay, bye. Miss Shipley here and this week's nature sighting is the state bird of Massachusetts. That's right, the black capped chickadee. Did you know that they store their seeds in the fall like squirrels do? And their brain grows new neurons every fall so they can remember where they've hidden them. Many of us are familiar with the call of the chickadee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, but your challenge for this week is to see if you can hear the song of the chickadee that the males use to defend their territory. It sounds like this, spring soon. What you're about to hear is a pair singing and calling to each other. As always, if you complete the nature challenge, send me an email and let me know. Hi, Aiden. Aiden, can you say hello? Hi. 
Um, Eden, are we making a special thank you card for everybody who's been bringing us packages? Yeah. yeah. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Can you say hooray? Hooray. hooray. Can you clap for them also? Yay. Thank you for working so hard Maybe. so that we can stay home safely. I hope you guys are staying healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. So my project for today is to make a giant pan of macaroni and cheese for the Bristol Lodge. Once a month, CHCH, along with Flick Dining Services, provides a meal to the soup kitchen in Waltham, and then the students and the faculty go and serve the food. They still want it because they still have people in need. So I've got all my ingredients lined up and I'm gonna get right to it. Making the cheese sauce. Time to go in the oven. Smells good. Thank you to all the CHCH alumni who've been sending in videos for these virtual assemblies. This week, Leah from the class of 2019 shares some thoughts about the impact that CHCH had on her. Hey CHCH, Leah Cohen Tarbox here from the class of 2019. Um, I just came here to say the impact that Chapel Hill has made on me over my three years there. I was there my sophomore, junior, and senior year. Um, it's definitely helped me um, learn to advocate for myself, um, know what type of learning styles are best for me, um, ways to study in college. Um, it's helped me so much knowing how to advocate, going to office hours like we have every day at Chapel Hill. Um, a lot of my friends in college had never done that before, but I felt like really prepared for that. And that's really helped me um, get adjusted to college. And I'm sure it will help me later on in my professional life as well. Hope everyone's staying safe and getting outside. It's beautiful. All right, CHCH, we want to see your creativity next week. Have you heard of the Getty Challenge? It's where you recreate a piece of art from the J. Paul Getty Museum using household items. Visit the link here to browse the images, then pick one and create your own version. You can submit it through the virtual assembly form that is linked in this description. For some inspiration, here's Ms. Doolin's submission for the Getty Challenge. I want to take a moment to thank all of you so much for watching. These virtual assemblies are always better if you take part. So send in your photos and videos and we'll see you next week. Stay safe and healthy guys.